Welcome to today's video. Thank you for tuning in and no messing around today. We're going to get straight into this pull workout. You're not going to want to miss this. It's a juicy, juicy, juicy pull session and it's just going to be sick. Let's get in there, hit some PBs, have some fun and make some fucking gains. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up Build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep under but my body won't decay Cause my messages are kind of so they put them on display Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty I have a sense of urgency A message for eternity for everyone internally I had some people burning me But now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with Okay guys, so that's pull workout done. Pretty juicy workout. I love, love that setup, especially the upper back pull downs. So if you've never done them, give them a go because your upper back will explode, I'm telling you. But yeah, so I'm actually going to show you now my favourite meal that I have every single day on this diet. It's the kind of meal that makes you feel like you're not dieting. It's, there's plenty of calories in it, so I save up quite a lot for it. And it's post workout, so it's well timed. So this is my chicken burgers with... Cajun uh, fried chips is fucking unreal. So check it out. So okay, as you can see, we're just chopping it so <laughs> Bruh. Look at that. Tears down the cheeks. End of the nose. Fuck. Fuck the onions, man. <laughs> oh, Salt and pepper chips, so made with onion, fur fried chips, peppers, chili, salt. Two chicken burgers, bitch. Oh yeah. So that meal was banging. If I do it again, I just need to get the chips crispier and that'll be spot on. And then after that, I've just had some uh, low calorie ice cream. Quite a big calorie meal, but I get hungriest at night. So I tend to eat the majority of my food in the evening because that's what works. That's what satisfies my hunger. Let's get into the main portion of the video. Okay. The moment of the video everyone has been waiting for. Clickbait title. What's he gonna talk about? What's he gonna talk about? I wanna talk about whether you should take steroids or not. Really topical subject that people wanna debate all the time from a personal point of view, competitive point of view, moral. People don't understand it. That's that's the issue. Should you, you person watching, take steroids or not? That's up to you. Whatever you wanna do, you can do. All right, video done. Cut. So when you see people making like amazing strength gains, incredible muscle gains, good progression, stuff like that, fat loss gains, whatever it may be, because they're doing the work, okay? Following nutrition structure, training hard, probably counting the calories, probably doing the cardio, committing, going all in, all these things, okay? You're not gonna get progress without it. Now, if someone's doing all that stuff and taking gear on top of that, then yes, it will accelerate progression. Of course it will. Personal thing, right? So when people talk about people's gear uses, and I'm getting people, oh, is this client on gear? I'm not gonna tell you if a client is using steroids or not, because it's none of my business as well to tell people. So you, you don't go around asking people if they do illegal drugs. Never mind legal ones like steroids. By the way, if you didn't know, and you're watching this, and you wanna be educated on it, not just entertained. <laughs> steroids are legal to take in the UK, okay? Done. So when you look at people's opinion of it, tends to come from like a cheating point of view, but if someone's not competitive, or they're competing untested, where everyone has free reign, then it's not cheating. 
No, if you're competing in an organization where testing is heavy, then yeah, you, <laughs> and you're taking stuff and you're trying to get around it, yeah, it's cheating, okay? But no one, no one ever questions that. And of course, there's always people who will do the best to get around, simple. They'll all, people will always try and get around. People will always try and cut corners and stuff like that. But I don't work with bodybuilders. I don't work with physique athletes, at current anyway. You know, prep people to get lean and stuff like that and gain muscle, but don't prep people to get on stage. What that should tell you is that the lifestyle clients and a hell of a lot of jujitsu competitive clients currently, which is another story. When you look at lifestyle clients, they're not, if, if a person is on something, they made that, that choice in their life to, to use exogenous hormones in order to help them achieve the goals. Or for other reasons as well, they might have low testosterone and want to use testosterone in order to bring that up so that they can have more vitality, more happiness, more energy, more everything, right? It's, it's really important. So low testosterone in, in men is dangerous, okay? And it needs to be optimal level, it really does. If you're looking at the people who have chosen to, you know, take steroids in whatever capacity, and they're a lifestyle client, they're not competing in anything, they're not fucking cheating anyone. Who the fuck are they cheating? The, the fucking neighbor next door who doesn't use steroids? No, they're just doing their own thing, training in the gym, you know, trying to look their best, trying to feel their best, and competing with themselves, and that's all it is, okay? So, the reason I'm doing this video as well, because there'll be a lot of people watching this who are contemplating taking it, and wondering whether they should. No, it's not a decision you should ever take lightly. And like any drug going in your body, you should be educated in it before you do it. Now, that's, that's a whole other topic, because no, Nowadays, we've got young lads whacking loads of gear in, you know, when the testosterone's already at that high point, and it's pointless, and they're fucking themselves up, they don't know what they're doing, and then they get stuck having to take gear for the rest of their life because they've fucked all sorts of shit up, whatever it may be. Some people don't bounce back, some people do bounce back, whatever. It's all, all personal, it's all genetic, it all depends on the extent of what they've done. But even then, let's say there's just these, these young lads in the gym that are taking gear. Again, that's, that's their choice, man. It shouldn't affect you. If you make the decision to stay natural and go about your journey, whatever, your training in your own capacity, you're not getting cheated. <laughs> People are just making different decisions. Again, if you were to compete against someone on gear, yeah, there's a cheat in the room. Okay, but it's different with lifestyle. People can do what the fuck they want. And what I would say, if you're if you're on the fence about doing it, you know, maybe don't do it. <laughs> it's a big commitment for your life and one that you might not be able to turn around. And two, if you do decide, get really educated first and make sure that you're making the right decisions. Make sure that you're getting blood tests. Make sure you're checking your blood pressure, doing all the correct stuff <laughs> before doing it. And on top of that, if your training isn't fucking excellent and you do not know how to train properly, you do not know how to push properly, you do not know how to follow a correct training program, you don't even follow a training program, you can't even be consistent in the week, you don't follow the correct nutrition and you eat like shit and you drink alcohol, all these, all these things, then no gear is not going to be good for you, it's going to really negatively affect you from a health point of view. So yeah, if you're deciding it, but you've not got all your other shit in line first, get your other shit in line first, get all the progress that you want, and then later on in life, maybe make that decision to turn, I don't know, to steroid usage, whatever. So, but that's my advice <laughs> from a professional standpoint. Okay, in a human human standpoint, you want to be at a point where you're healthy and you're making the right decisions for you. You're not trying to take shortcuts, but you're doing the things that, you know, you really do desire. That's what's important. When it comes to the choice, it's personal. But if you do decide to go on, don't look down on the people who don't use. But if you don't decide to use steroids, you want to stay natural for life, fair play, but then don't, talk shit on the guys who use it because they want to okay there's no different usage to any other drugs cigarettes alcohol weed cocaine whatever <laughs> okay people smash all sorts of shit that is unhealthy for them in amounts that are normalized which is fucked up because people get fucked up with drink and whatever on the weekend have fucked up livers fucked up blood pressure destroying the bodies and it's normalized and then people want to take a little bit of steroids in a very healthy manner, get blood tests, get checked up, X, Y, and Z, and people look down on them. Fucking priorities, man. Priorities are off. I don't want to babble on too long with this because I could turn this into like a 30 minute chat or start getting educational, but I'm not going to do. It's more so from the point of view of like, if you're going to make a decision, do it for you, man. Don't let other people around you affect things too much. Don't bullshit people for making progress and call people out for like using gear 
Like, shut the fuck up. Go and do your own thing and make your own progress. No one's cheating you. You're just not working hard enough, man. If that's the case. I don't think I've ever sat here and gone, oh, but that guy's using steroids. That's why he's making this progress. He's using grams of gear. Oh, my God. Nah, man. It's fucking hard work. People paying it off. Yes, they might be accelerating it with steroid usage. But at the end of the day, they're training the fucking ass off. Well, if you sat in your ass and you're not training, and you're eating shit, and you probably sat there with a fucking beer in your hand, and you're calling people for using steroids, and you're a fucking idiot. I'm just gonna say <laughs> Oh my God. Right, okay. So before this turns into like, just offending people, I'll end it there. <laughs> but there'll be more to come on topics like this. And the only reason I bring this up is because I have people messaging me, trying to like call out clients of mine and stuff like that. And it's just fucking crazy. Like if people are gonna call out clients, you better have your own shit in line. And you better be training hard yourself because no one's impressed with people sat on their ass drinking beer. I'll tell you that for sure. Let's leave it there. That's video number three of my comeback, I think. Three? Four? No idea. More to come on this topic. And take gear, don't take gear. No one gives a fuck. Okay? See you in the next video.